everybody. Hiya. Hello, welcome to the channel. We're just doing an extra vlog this week um, about the sat nav. The crap nav. The crap nav, yeah. Um, we've been very disappointed with it. Um, I won't go into all the issues with it, but we've had occasions where it's sent us off, even off of motorways, and then 100 yards later asked us to rejoin the motorway, things like that. Um, it's also caused one or two arguments between Ellie and myself. One or two? Yeah, one or two. I would say 50% um, of the errors are to do with the sat nav, and 60% of them are to do with my assistant. Your glamorous assistant. Do you see what there. I did there with the figures? <laughs> <laughs> Never was very good at maths. That's not his strong point. Now, the awkward part is that usually I'm driving. I, I know how to operate the sat nav. I know how to interpret it, but when I'm driving, sometimes it's useful if you've got somebody watching that for you. Um, and to be honest, I find that things like Google Maps is far better. Uh, the sat nav that's built in is, is quite out of date. It's um, still telling me I live on a toll road uh, and I don't. Mm. But um, so we really don't like using that very much at all. It's, it's, it's a bad scene. And of course, the screen is very small as well. Mm. So I wanted to use my, my iPad. Uh, great idea. The trouble is my iPad is a Wi-Fi one, not a cellular one. So it doesn't have a SIM card in it. Um, and the problem with that is that it doesn't directly have any access to GPS. It can access GPS, but it has to go through the internet. And there's a lag. And that lag um, can be... Well, it's I've quite known dangerous it, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I've known it to be 25 seconds, yeah, something like that, yeah. on occasions. Um, and in 25 seconds, you can go well Happen. past your junction before it tells you you've got to turn left. Mm. So I, because we tried it and it didn't work very well, I'd written that idea off. However, um, a gentleman called Ken from Life's Too Short, he recently did a vlog on um, iPad navigation. And he had the same problem that his iPad wasn't a cellular one, mm. or at least the one he wanted to use wasn't. So he bought this gadget, which is um, a Garmin Glow 2 portable GPS. And this is the actual item. It's very simple. You charge that up, lasts for about 13 hours, turn it on, Bluetooth it to your iPad, and this will then uh, make your iPad directly accessible to GPS satellites. And it will save your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It can't do everything. Well, no, it doesn't make a nice <laughs> cup of tea, that is true. Yeah. But it, for something so small, it could be a, a real game changer for us, couldn't it? Yeah. I mean, we're going to um, try it out in this vlog, so hopefully us and you will see it working in real time, so you can also make a decision as to whether you think it's the right thing for you. But the early signs when you've actually looked at it is that it yeah. seems to work extremely well, extremely yeah. well. We're going to do a demonstration straight after this, yeah. which will feed straight into that. Um, and I'm going to be using Google Maps. But you can use, you could use Google Maps, you could use Waze, you could use uh, Apple Maps, um, even Ordnance Survey Maps. Anything that needs access to the GPS, it, it will work with those. Um, but I'm not going to demonstrate it on every possible program. Um, but you'll see uh, how we get on with it shortly. Mm. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that you can use this mm. with a mobile phone. So, yeah. for example, if you took your mobile phone into an area, if you wanted to go hiking or something somewhere, uh, and there's no um, 4G or 3G signal, then by using that, and providing you've downloaded the offline maps in advance, uh, the GPS will work with that. So providing this has got access to see the sky um, and hence the satellites, then you, the offline maps will work just as well. So it, when you're in the wilderness or you know, somewhere way out of range, that can be pretty useful. And that makes it worth its price really doesn't it because it's not linked to a given device so therefore it's it be, being so flexible as you were saying if you're on a walk you can attach it to a phone any yeah. ipad that you've got 
Um, yeah, you only ever need one really, don't you? And it, it does a multitude of tasks. We happen to like walking quite a lot, as you've probably found out from our previous vlogs. And something like that would be really useful in a lot of different applications rather yeah. than just getting us from A to B. As in I, th a clear as I way. think I've said previously, I love ordnance survey maps mm. and it does work with those as well. So, yeah, when you're in the middle of nowhere, just got an ordnance survey map on your phone, no signal, you can still use it. Mm. And uh, that is about £85, I believe. Mm, from Amazon, that was, wasn't it? Yeah, from yeah. Amazon, yeah. yeah. I just suppose we'd better show these people. Yeah. I mean, £85, a lot of money, but it saved me having to trade my mm. iPad in to get a cellular one, which I probably wouldn't have done. Yeah, I don't know what the price difference is on a cellular no, iPad. No, but I probably, because mine's a couple of years old, I probably would have upgraded it, so it would have cost a lot more money. Mm. Anyway, have a look, see what you think. Here it comes. <laughs> right, the first thing to do is to make sure the little Garmin unit is turned on, so it's picking up GPS. And that is now Bluetooth to this iPad. So when I now load up Google Maps, the GPS is uh, being picked up, so it will give the route. Uh, so now what we need to do is to, to mount this in the mount and then make sure that it's actually following accurately the route that we're going on. Right, so now we're going to mount the unit. So we pull that up open the stand, put that inside there, clip that on so it's nice and secure. So now all we should need to do is to drive. Turn left, then slide right. We're coming out of a trading estate and we're just about to turn left onto the A48. And so far, it's tracking exactly correctly. This is the manoeuvre that Graham is just doing is in fact exactly what it's saying. So the Garmin is telling us to turn right in about 400 metres. It's just, it has just told us. If you can see the screen right. there, it's saying turn right. And this is real time. What's happening? So we're now waiting to turn right. In 600 metres, at the roundabout, take the second exit. So the good news is that there doesn't seem to be any lag. Um, what's happening on the iPad is virtually exactly the same as what's happening on the road. Yes. Um, prior to having this little GPS unit, uh, my iPad was working through the internet and the lag was awful. You'd go by a junction and it would still think you haven't reached that junction yet. So this is good, it's, it's sharp, it's up to date and telling you as it is. Mm. Yes, it's exactly as it happens. And of course once you've got this set up, um, anything that Google Maps will do, because we're using the Google Map app at the moment, anything that Google Maps will do, you can do on the iPad. Because um, prior to coming out today, I downloaded this area as an offline map. So it matters not that um, you get an internet connection or not. It's using satellite, yeah? Yeah, mm. for positioning. Mm -hmm. But it's using offline maps for the map. For the file. maps. So the maps, if you like, uh, yeah, belong to the iPad now. Yeah. And it's just literally using the satellite to tie the two together and tell you where you are going. And of course, for those who don't use Google Maps very often, it might be worth adding that you can download the, the whole of the UK, I think Europe as well, but I've only tried it with the UK. You can download all of the UK maps um, totally free. You just have to have a Google account. So it's quite adaptable really. Yeah. You might think it's quite an expensive add-on. How much was it, Grey? Can well, you remember? It was about eighty pounds mm. from Amazon. Right. But um, in fact it's the different this iPad doesn't have cellular. 
uh, and to buy a cellular one would cost you more than £80 and then you've got to buy the SIM as well so it is a cheaper option if you've already got an iPad or any tablet in fact it could be an iPad it could be a phone couldn't it? Yeah. or any uh, Android tablet as well yeah so it could work on an as long as it's got Bluetooth Right, so an iPad, an iPhone, a tablet, Android, all of those things are compatible. Yeah. In 600 metres, your destination will be on the right. So we're coming into Hlandig Fed Reservoir. Probably made a real pig's ear of that, but that's where we are coming into now. You can see it on the screen. Such a good place to park. Where is park? I don't know. I need to get hit there. I suppose it saves him having to pay. Yeah. I'm not sure. Do you have to pay here? I can't I remember. Know, I can't remember. It's been a long time since we were here. You can see the reservoir off to the left. Just about. Very busy here today. Well, the sun's come out. We need to find a merv sized space. Yeah, don't I think we? there's one just down there. Garmin may be clever, but it won't find you a parking space. Okay, I hope you found that um, interesting. We used it this afternoon to, to, to take it take us to a local reservoir, and it was it was perfect, no mm. problems at all. Yeah, we got some hopefully some good footage that you'll see, you'll have seen um, showing the screen combined with the view that you can see so that you can see it is in, in fact in real time but it, it's actually very very up to date isn't it with yeah. the maneuvers that you have to do and early signs are that we feel this is absolutely the right decision for us regarding yeah. the and, the and at my age with my eyes obviously the bigger screen is uh, yeah. is something i find really useful and of course if you use google maps um, you're going to get all the advantages mm. that you can from google maps like you could you know just put into their find all filling stations or something mm. so it's really simple to use you get a lot of map on the screen don't you yeah. as well you can see well ahead to see what's coming next there's all the information that you need on the screen that you could possibly want on a drive as well yeah. isn't there really so we love it yeah we do um gertie's if, great isn't she gertie yeah yeah gertie garmin in case you're wondering gertie garmin with google yeah ggg <laughs> good old gertie we have to name everything we you do. might have noticed yeah anyway thank you very much for watching thank you and we'll catch you sometime soon bye <laughs> if you did find that interesting or useful do please subscribe to our channel and that will enable us to grow the channel and make more videos.